What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do automatic deposits of US dollars into your Coinbase account just straight on your iPhone or your Android device. This is really important to people here on the channel because recurring deposits allow us to automatically pull money from our tracking account into Coinbase and then use a lot of the scripts that we've developed here on the channel to automatically buy and sell Bitcoin based on different indicators like the Fear and Greed Index or like the Alpha Squared Index. You want to learn more about those things, I'll have links up in the cards and down in the description. You can check those out after this video. So the first thing I'm going to cover is automatic deposits on a recurring basis, and we can do that all from our iPhones. The second thing I'm going to cover is a little bit more advanced, and it's going to show you how you can make automatic deposits when, for example, you're out of US dollars. So not every two weeks, but every time my balance hits $10, now I want to make a deposit. Or every time my balance hits zero dollars now i want to make a deposit so if you're a more advanced kind of power user check out that at the end of the video but for now let's just go ahead and jump into automated deposits straight from your iphone so the first thing we're going to do here is just open up coinbase and right at the bottom of the screen here for most of you if you're not on advanced trade you're just going to click on buy and sell and then you'll click on buy and you're going to be buying usdc and you're going to be doing it on a recurring buy schedule either daily weekly first and 15th or monthly so let's go ahead and check off weekly and then we can make a 100 dollars buy for us dollars from our bank account straight into usdc and it's going to be zero fees so let's go ahead and click on review order and now we're seeing every week we're going to receive a hundred dollars of usdc we're going to be earning 4.1 percent apy on that usdc while it's just sitting in our coinbase accounts and it's going to be available to trade and transfer instantly and again, this is coming from our linked bank account that is just straight US dollars, getting your paycheck deposited to your bank account, and then immediately turning that into USDC on a weekly or a monthly or whatever basis that you want to turn it into USDC on. So let's go ahead and click on place order here. And now we'll see our order is submitted. So now if we click on orders down here at the bottom of the screen, we can see I have a twice monthly buy of $250 of USDC. And then we have a weekly buy of $100 of USDC. And it'll show us the next time that each of those buys are going to go through. And so then if you ever wanted to cancel that, you just click on this and click on cancel recurring purchase and cancel. And that's about as simple as it gets. Very quick, very easy, just clicking buttons on your iPhone and you're doing automatic recurring deposits of USDC into your Coinbase account. If you're not sure what USDC is, it's basically the US dollar stable coin that is created by Circle. It's one of the most regulated stable coins in existence. And the thing that I like about USDC is that when it's just sitting in my account, I'm getting interest before I'm making automated trades using the Coinbase API. If you're using Coinbase Advanced Trade, I actually don't know if there's a way in the UI to do what we just did on regular Coinbase. So if you are on Coinbase Advanced Trade over here in the little hamburger menu, you're going to want to go back to regular Coinbase just to do that transaction that we just created and have that recurring deposit going through for you. And then when you're done with setting up that deposit, you can always go up here and switch back to Coinbase Advanced Trade. So next, let's go ahead and cover how to make automated deposits using the API. All right, so now for kind of like power user type people who want to automate deposits in a different way than just automating you know, I want to deposit $25 or $100 every week. Instead, if I want to deposit $100 every time the Bitcoin price hits 100000 or every time I run out of US dollars in my account or any time I run out of USDC in my account or any time that I make a Bitcoin sell, we can do more complicated deposits using the Coinbase Advanced Trade Python wrapper that I've covered here on the channel extensively that I'll have linked up in the cards and down in the description. And if you want a full walkthrough of how this wrapper works and why I built it. You're gonna to wanna to check those videos out instead of you know me just rehashing all of that stuff for us here. So I'm assuming that you've already watched those videos and that you kinda of know what you're doing here. You're gonna to need to create an API key, obviously, with Coinbase that we cover in the other video. And so just for automating deposits, you're gonna scroll down here to get your client uh, account ID for your USD deposit account or your GBP deposit account, wherever you happen to be here in the world. I'm using US dollars and note that you can't or I haven't found a way at least to deposit into USDC. So you would need to manually convert to USDC if you were going to use USDC trading pairs later in the future. But right now it looks like the API or I've only been able to figure out how to get the API to deposit US dollars or, you know, base fiat currency. And so then you can take this fiat deposit example and go ahead and copy and paste this into your IDE of choice. And you can obviously ultimately put this up into AWS and automate this using a cron job 
up there. Again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, we've covered all of this before on the channel and I'll have links up in the cards and down in the description. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and paste this code into my IDE here and I'm gonna be specifically running client.showDeposit methods and then client.getAccount by currency, which is my US dollar account. And I'm going to print that information for myself here. And then I'm going to fill in my deposit with that information, which is basically the information from my linked bank account and the information of my Coinbase USD wallet on Coinbase. So let's go ahead and click on play here. Needed to set up my environment there, which is again, something that we cover in the previous video. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on run. And so now this is what your output should look like. You should be seeing down here, if I pull this up, make it a little bigger. Yeah, so here's what you should be seeing. You should be seeing here are your payment methods available for deposit. Mine is my checking account here. And here's the ID of my checking account linked to my Coinbase account. It'll show me the currency that I can deposit in, which is going to be important for which wallet you can end up depositing in. For example, I can't make a deposit from my usd linked checking account into ethereum or into usdc even so the money that's coming through from my checking account is going to show up as us dollars in coinbase and then my second account here was a direct deposit account with coinbase which is you know unimportant not using that account and then down here we're getting fresh information from our coinbase account and we're seeing our usd wallet if you're doing gbp wallet hopefully you should see your gbp wallet and what we're interested in here is the uuid which i think if we do account.uuid and hit play again we should just get the uuid so really what you want to do here is we'll uncomment this deposit code and all the deposit code is right here this client.deposit fiat and so now we're gonna to need to fill in with our account ID and our payment method ID. So we got our payment method ID up here from our tracking account. We'll go ahead and paste that into our payment method ID. And then for account ID, what we can do is we can just type account, get rid of the quotation marks and type account.uuid, which is what we got right here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and delete these because we don't need them. We actually do need them, just kidding. I'm gonna delete show deposit methods because we don't need that anymore, but we do need account because we're using account down here and account ID. Really, we could get rid of account too. And we could just do client.get account by currency USD dot UUID. And then all you need is this fiat deposit method. All we did before, the only reason that we needed those previous methods was to make sure that we got our payment ID correct. And now that we have our payment ID correct here, we should just be able to press play. And this is going to deposit $25 of USD into our Coinbase account. And just to prove to you that that's happening here, I can click on assets in Coinbase and then click on US dollar right here. And so now we can see all of my US dollar deposits and I can click on play here. And we just had $125. And if I refresh, hopefully we should have $150. So here's our pending deposit as of right now. And I'll show you if I change this from $25 to $10. I'd be careful. Cursor's trying to make me deposit $100. So if I have $10, I can just press play again. So I have my pending $25 deposit. And if I refresh now, I should have a pending $10 deposit also. My $25 deposit has now cleared and I have $150 balance. So in a couple seconds here, if I keep refreshing, I should hopefully have $160. And you can just continue to do this as many times as you want, right? And this is also as modular as you want. So you could also like make amount a variable and make a deposit first and then go ahead and immediately take that money and turn it into Bitcoin or immediately take that money and convert it from US dollars to USDC. And if you're unclear on how to do any of those other things, definitely go check out the video uh, explaining how this entire wrapper works. But basically your ability to write this function now that you have written the function, you can make this a Lambda function up on AWS, or you can run it here locally, and you can do really whatever you want with it because we have access to the full backend of Coinbase Advanced Trade to automate this deposit functionality in whatever way you can think of. And if you're new to programming, and you're like, whoa, this is really overwhelming. I don't know how to do any of this. What's really cool about Cursor, and I have a video on Cursor up in the cards and down in the description, is that you can toggle this AI pane over here. And once you're in this AI pane over here, you can start to say things like, how would I change main.py to only deposit when my balance is less than, when my USD balance is less than $50. Please use the code in Coinbase Advanced Trader. And so now what it's going to do is the AI is going to read through all of the code in the code base. It's going to understand exactly how to make those changes. And then it's going to generate you a function that does exactly that. And so if you're brand new to programming, this is super powerful. You'll see right there, 
a road DF statement, and it's going to even update it for me right here and show me what it looked like before and after. So before it looked like what we had just written. After right here, it's saying it wants to get my USD balance, getting get crypto balance right there of USD, take the minimum balance threshold of 50 and say, if my balance is less than the minimum balance threshold, then I'm going to deposit $10 using all of the information that we already filled out. So hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. Even if you're not programmers, I think Crusher is super powerful. And I think that we're going to look back at this time in history in five years or 10 years and say like, oh, people thought that they couldn't program. But now the AI is here. Everyone's a programmer. And this stuff is actually not that complicated. And it's not that hard to learn if you just take the time and learn it. So that's all I've got for you today. If you want to learn more and get connected with other programmers in the community, I have a link to the Discord down in the description. And check out these videos here linked on screen if you want to learn more about the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. I love you all. See you next week. I bought a teleprompter and so I can't do the anymore, which is a real end of an era. Sadly. See you next week.